A hundred billion neurons connected by a hundred thousand billion synapses. The human brain is the most complex machine we know of and the most mysterious one. We face huge issues in neuroscience to understand how the pieces of the brain fit and work together. We face huge issues in medicine to understand how to objectively diagnose and treat brain diseases. This is a big, big challenge. It'll have an enormous impact on the health of the aged. European researchers propose a radically new approach to study the human mind. Their idea is simple, to simulate a complete human brain in a supercomputer. We have a giant intellectual problem to solve here. As a scientist, I mean, it's really the central project for brain science. And that could revolutionize computing the way we do it today. The Human Brain Project brings together hundreds of scientists from leading European research institutions. It is one of the most ambitious neuroscience projects in the world. What we are proposing is to establish a radically new foundation to explore and understand the brain, its diseases, and to use that knowledge to build new computing technologies. The project is coordinated by EPFL, located in Lausanne, Switzerland. The researchers will systematically study neurons, the building blocks of the brain. They will collect and consolidate all the biological data produced by scientists around the world. They will integrate this knowledge into a massive simulation running on a supercomputer. The result will be the most accurate model of the human brain ever produced. I'm really thrilled to be part of this and to help neuroscience to have a more coordinated effort to understand the brain and to, to exploit the brain, to really use what's in the brain in computational principles and to derive new technologies. From an original group of 13 institutions, the HBP now encompasses more than 80 partners across Europe. The human cortex is organized into uh, um, specialized regions. We need to understand what these different regions are doing. Some are specializing for language, some are specializing for vision. So we will uh, create systematic maps of the human brain, trying to understand each of these subsystems and trying to understand what are the specific parameters so that they can ultimately be brought to simulation. Brain diseases have become an immense burden in the Western world. In Europe, they cost more than heart diseases, cancer, and diabetes all put together. Scientists will work closely with hospitals to find new treatment to neurological disorders. They will collect medical data, such as brain scans, in order to develop better ways to diagnose diseases. It involves trying to make sense of the enormous amounts of data we collect on all our patients and using those data in order to define their diseases better. And to do that, we need first to be able to bring the data together, so we need databasing. And for that, we're going to need really high-powered computers to be able to what we call data mine. We now have a blueprint to understand the molecular architecture that defines the development and organization of the human brain but it also gives us the fantastic opportunity to understand how the DNA mutations that cause hundreds of different brain diseases produce those diseases. There'll be ways of testing potential drugs where you won't need to use animals, where you'll be able to use something that approaches the human, and where you'll have some information of how good the treatment's going to be to correct the defect. The simulation of a complete human brain will require supercomputers that are a thousand times more powerful than today. The power of today's computers is by far not sufficient to compute this complex system. Of course, we have to pool resources in order to satisfy the huge demands. The project will stimulate the development of new supercomputers. By understanding how cognition works, it will help to design radically new devices called neuromorphic computers. They will combine the power of microelectronics with the flexibility of human intelligence. If you want to solve a new problem, you need new software. You don't do that in your brain. You learn, and you are able to learn to handle completely different situations 
even things which you have never seen before. These are systems that are directly modeled after the brain. So what we build is physical models of brain circuits on silicon substrates. The Human Brain Project will create a realistic simulation of the brain. This new tool will be used to understand how the mind works, to study brain diseases and invent new electronics. To achieve this goal, more than 80 European institutions have already joined the project. The competence is distributed all over Europe in supercomputing and in neuroscience. By putting so many different people together and making such a big community, such a big project, we can do things we could never do with any other scale, smaller scale project. For Europe, this is a kind of a big science project. This, I believe, the 21st century will be the century of the brain. I think the project is a very, it's a visionary project. And uh, it seems to me that the field need this kind of initiative really to move forward. And I see fantastic opportunities in the future. The technology is at reach and the necessary knowledge available. It's like building a giant telescope to peer into deep space, only that we'd be able to look deep into the brain and ask questions that are impossible experimentally and theoretically. It's an infrastructure to be able to build and simulate the human brain, objectively classify brain diseases, and build radically new computing devices. We have what's called in technology a roadmap. We know which technology will be used at which point in time in the project, and the way we will scale up our systems so that they reach the complexity of the human brain. The Human Brain Project will put Europe at the forefront of neuroscience. It will deliver new strategies to fight brain diseases, and it will revolutionize electronics. But first of all, it will offer a revolutionary new tool to study the most mysterious phenomenon of the universe the human brain.